the Editio Princeps of Historiae in Greek by Herodotus, printed in Venice by Aldus in September 1502. I am Adam Douglas, Senior Specialist in Books at Peter Harrington, and I'd like to show you this copy of the book. If we uh, look at the title page here, we see the famous Aldine device, the anchor with the dolphin entwined around it, and uh, he's also printed on the title page a few of the extra commentaries that are provided with the text. And this is one of the great Greek works published in Venice, the revival of classical Greek, which had been lost, knowledge of the language had been lost with the fall of Constantinople. So to come back and to do what Aldous did, which was to find every manuscript he could of the major uh, classical Greek historians was a remarkable gift to humanity, really. Uh, and he set out three books, a, a big project to, to publish three Greek folios. Uh, they're individually published, several months apart. This is the second of the series. And you see here the beauty of the Greek type that he had cut. Um, it's uh, so clear that it's able to pack in um, quite small characters and yet uh, easily legible. Um, this copy has been in uh, the libraries of a couple of later collectors. Um, the book plates are there at the front, on the front paste down. And we see it's in a later binding. It's a 19th century collector's binding. I hope you'll be able to see here, just it's in blind, so it's a little difficult to see in the camera, but the Aldine device is repeated there, stamped in blind on the front cover. Obviously, somebody's uh, wonderful collection. It'd be a great collection to have all the Aldine publications. This copy has got nice wide margins. It's got some early Greek marginalia, and but you will see that some of them are just a little trimmed. So this, uh, as we know, it's not its first binding. The binder's knife will have just taken off a little edge as, as um, it went into its second binding. But most of them are clear and legible. It's rather nice to see the book being used by a scholar making notes like this. At the end of the book, we see all the, we see the Aldine anchor. It occurs twice in this book. It's on the verso of the colophon. And here at the foot, the colophon, giving the information that the book was published by Aldous in Venice in the month, finished in the month of September 1502. And there's the detail there. And also, also I always like this in uh, early Italian books. You see the, the register. So uh, it's very easy to collate and to see how the book was meant to be made up with all the signatures listed there. So a very handsome copy of a very important book. For details on this and other Aldines and early printed books, please see the Peter Harrington website.